We are at a desert lake, also known as Bartlett Lake, and today we're going to be doing some pretty intense flathead fishing, hopefully, tonight. So the goal is to catch a new personal best flathead. My personal best flathead is 25 pounds. That is on the smaller side, especially for Arizona. So leading up to this flathead, we need to first catch bait for the night. So the goal today, catch bait. Maybe catch some bass, maybe catch some catfish. We'll see how many species we can get before the flathead, but the main goal is to catch a personal best. Let's get on the boat. Let's do it. We're just waiting for TD to get situated and then we will get on the water. How many fish are we gonna catch tonight? Zero to 48. <laughs> Hopefully it's the last. Well, people, first, if you're gonna flathead fish, most of the time, you're gonna need live bait. So we're gonna hopefully catch some gill. You guys are, you can see this bobber? I'm blocking your way. What am I doing? So we're gonna hopefully catch some bluegill here, load up on those, and then uh, go do something else. Probably catch some carp a little later, that's the plan. And then just fish for whatever. We're out here, we made it. Hopefully the fish are cooperating today. And you guys already know, we got the good old split shot. Small hook and the clip bobber. We pretty much use this for everything. And TD brought the worms. And we're just going to thread it like we always do. And hopefully we can find some fish here. Am I totally blocking your way? <laughs> and I'm probably not going to show too much of this process. You guys get the general idea. We're catching panfish. We're going to use them for bigger fish. Okay, let's see what we got going on. I don't know how long this camera's gonna last either. We're midday, it's 111. Why? I don't know. And both of our cameras lasted all of 10 minutes because it was so hot outside. And on top of that, the bait fishing was just very lackluster. We didn't end up getting any. So we decided to kind of hop around and explore. And we did stumble upon some bass in this cove. So that is where we are right now. And that is what we're doing. We gave up on bait fishing for now, so. We just caught a bass off camera. I'm gonna show you guys what we're using for bass. Because <laughs> this is what we're doing right now. This is the Shimano SLX. This is the Dobbins Maverick. And this is a precision cast finesse jig. We got some green pumpkin and orange. And then it's tipped with a G-cracked bellows crawl. These things smell like Cheetos. Pretty cool. But we just caught a bass dragging this jig on the bottom. So uh, maybe there's more. Maybe it was a fluke. We're about to find out. Hopefully the camera doesn't overheat again because that's been our main issue. Fish on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go on the jiggy. Jiggy with it. G crack bellows crawl. Copper state tackle. You let them know I sent you guys. Maybe we found some back here, huh? First fish of the video. S cat it. Just dragging it like a dead little crayfish. And guys, we tried. We just could not keep these cameras on too hot. So we decided to change our plan up, go to where we wanted to fish for the night and reevaluate what we were, we're going to do. We're here for hopefully where we're going to be catching some nice fish tonight. We are going to go ahead and catch some carp. Uh, which should be a lot easier than the bluegill right now because they are just not cooperating. I'm not giving up on you guys. I'm not giving up on the video. We're going to get it done. 
We gotta catch bait. That's a very important thing with this type of fishing. You can come out here, not catch bait and be screwed. So that being said, we're probably gonna fish from shore for a little bit, catch some carp and hopefully use them as bait. Take you guys along the way. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, we're here looking for some carpy, as Porter would say, yummy corn water. <laughs> Should I drink it? Porter would. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, Porter absolutely would. Uh, so I just have my four pound test rod for this <laughs> and a little tiny hook, which should be fine. That'll work. I think I'm going to use this other one, but I need to tie a different hook on there. <laughs> so let's do that real quick. Here we go. Fish on. We got another one, guys. Let's do Carper. Can we land this one? Does he seem small? But he ain't, he don't feel like a carp. Yeah, it's a, it's a channel. It's gotta be a channel. Yeah, it's a channel. It's a shame you can't use these as live bait. You want the net? No, I'll flip them. Well, we got our next species. <laughs> there we go. Channel cat. Not a carp. We need some carp. Baby Channy. Oh well. That's all right, guys. We can tie on another hook. Yeah, might be worth it. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> be like that sometimes, or what? I feel like that. <laughs> again, again. Not the target species, but species number two. Trying not to catch bait. I don't know why. But it feels nice out now. The sun is is setting. Did I just get an insta bite? Nah. Maybe? Nah. That's in the rod holder. You guys can see it very well, hopefully. Let's get a hook on our other rod. And we'll get this out here. We're on a bait mission right now. I've actually caught quite a bit of channels on corn. Yeah, me too. And bread. Yeah. All right, next rod. Not really a bait fish rod, but I don't really care how I'm catching them. So we're going to get our catch the fever medium heavy out here. And there we go. We're still on the bait mission. Can we do it? I don't know. Definitely lost one carp, one cat down. <sighs> Not losing faith yet. Can't. Oh my God, dude. Guys, we have just lost two carp in a row. Third time's a charm, guys, or what? Oh, there you go. It's a flathead, dude. <laughs> well, Trevor's got the first carp going here. I can't keep them on. Big. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> it looks kind of big. Are you? Oh yeah, you're Jeremy waiting it over here. Oh, he's baitable. Is he? Yeah. Oh, got the net. I got the net. Come on. He, that's baitable. You're kidding me. That's huge. Nah. <laughs> what? This is whole this is kind of new to me using baits this big, guys. I would never use a bait this big, but he, he is the veteran, not me, so. Try to build this. There we go. There you go. Maybe we can... Oh, I got one. <laughs> we got one, guys. Here, let me grab it. Oh, 
Hopefully he stays on this time. This one feels pretty small. I get that net when you get the chance. Oh, this feels perfect bait size. Guys, look at that. See that at throw on the hook. That's beauty right there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a good bait. That's perfect right there. It's insane, dude. Yeah. He's going in his little his little fancy bait well. These are not the ones we're showing off. Well, actually, we're showing anything off at yeah, this point. <laughs> well, that's good. Two baits down. Better than nothing. Yep. We're fishing tonight. That's all that matters. Yeah. One line each. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I prefer your size for sure, but. Yeah. But that'll work. Complain right now. Oh. All right, let's get that. There's that. And let's get our other one out. So nice and quiet now. Yeah. Everybody's shutting their mouths, turning the music off, getting off the lake. I know, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but <laughs> when those guys finally just left. Landed two, back to back. All right, we're gonna set up the light here, guys. We brought some light. Let's go. It's getting smaller. Good. The net. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> cutie. That's sick. Heck yeah, dude. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch all this bait fishing, but we did catch a few more carp. TD caught the most. And then we randomly got on a bluegill on the bottom corn bite. So we were able to get some bluegill and even some crappie. We were ready to get some baits ran out. So let's do that right now. The time has come. It's been a struggle to say the least. There's a bug in my ear right now, guys. But we're gonna get some of these baits that we struggled so hard to catch. But first, I'm gonna show you what we're using. So this is an OG of the Ugly Stick community. This is an Ugly Stick Tiger before they changed them. See these guides? They don't make them like that no more. That's what makes this rod special. I've caught all kinds of fish on this rod. This should be plenty. And then we have the good old Avid SX. I love this reel. I've had this since I was like 15 years old. It has caught quite a bit of fish as well. And then the rig set up in line is all courtesy of the man behind the camera. You got to get the info when you can, you know? So this is a TD rig. We got the bobber to hold the fish above the rocks. We got the three-way swivel. We got the 150 pound mono down to a seven-aught Gamagatsu octopus hook. And we got a six ounce weight down there with some breakaway line. This is 25 pound test. So now let's get our bait hooked on. This is one that you guys have probably seen me do a couple times before. Hooking gill is not really anything special. I've never done it to carp though. So he's gonna show me how to do that. There's one more, oh, there's two more gill. It's right there. Sick. All right, let's get this guy hooked up here and we're gonna hook them right behind the dorsal this is how I do probably 90% of all my live baits and he's just gonna sit like that until he gets eaten hopefully by something big so we're gonna set that in the water and then we're gonna do a little carp tutorial and then we're gonna get these baits run out and hopefully one of us will be catching something massive very soon. We're in the dark, but I'm gonna show you guys. So these are the carp. We didn't show this before because we were trying to get baits out. So you wanna make sure I do this bubble thing right here from the outside in or the other way? Yeah, so you'll do this way. That way up yep. and then back down. Yep, and then it'll end up like that. Gotcha. We were literally just talking about this. <laughs> and then in the back, about where? Like midway? 
I can't remember what you said before. Yeah, so probably like right here -ish. Yep, and then definitely go like sideways, yeah, so. All right, and leave the scales on the hook tip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there we go. That is about the size of bait. They are not shy. Getting ready to run out some baits with the fancy schmancy RC boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the blue peel probably. Like that. That's it? Yep. So wow. now it's attached to my uh, lead line. That's insane, dude. Right, just go like that. <laughs> Open the spool a little bit more. No way, dude. And then you just start driving. And you can literally just look at the depth, look at the structure. Full fish finder. Wow. And you hold it forward long enough, then it auto does it. So it's, I'm just gonna let that guy go for a minute. <laughs> wow. All right, it's pretty legit. You yeah. Can see it pretty well. That's perfect. One, one. That's money well spent right there for yeah, sure. It's, it's so nice. <laughs> I'd be in a kayak right now. Yep. Paddling, getting wet. <laughs> Not having fun, that's for sure. Nope. No, that's gill. We alternate. Carp, bluegill. Carp, bluegill, bass, catfish. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Uh, now we wait. Hopefully not too long. This can be a grind. So we're hoping for a couple good fish. Uh, we won't know until we try. We're trying. So we're just going to hang out. Uh, maybe sleep a little later. But we'll see what goes on tonight. Full time there. Nah. I mean, there are like striper there. The striper population there has taken like a really big hit. In the Potomac River and like uh oh that's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> really? No, I almost looked like he got stripped off. Yeah, it kinda looks like it. Oh he's still on there. But now he's coming towards me a little bit. Oh, was that my bait? Just be swimming at you. I think he might be If it is and real really fast and way up. I got him. <laughs> He ain't big, but I got him. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. He's flying, bro. <laughs> he might have came off. I swear I caught him for a second, though. Come on. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's screaming towards me. It's a channel. It's a channel, bro. Oh that makes a lot more sense now. He's not bad. Yeah. Well, we got a fish, guys. <laughs> it's a big ass channel, though. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a baby flat, but I did not think it was going to be a channel. <laughs> this is the first one on the live bait of the night. We'll take it. Let's get him out of here. Hopefully Flatty's coming next. It's a nice channel, man. Yeah. All right. Well, we had some action. Coming in. You sucking on it? Yeah, for sure. Dude. That's so frustrating. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, baby. Uh huh. Oh, no. Is he in a tree? Yeah, you got him. Let's go. Are you burned towards you? Dang. Of course, it's like right when we both relax. I know. Close the eyes for Literally. a second. Told you. <laughs> Take a little cat nap and. Yeah. Wow. Like clockwork. Frustrating. I haven't lost it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I 
this long enough? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Guys, we have a carp being eaten right now. Got him. Fish on the carp. Fish on the carp. He doesn't feel that big. He doesn't feel that big, but we got him. We've been waiting so long for this fish. He's growing up a little bit. Come on, baby. We just got a giant carp eaten by a freaking fish. Get the over here. Oh, you guys don't understand. Oh, yeah. Is that a channel? No, it's a fucking That's so weird. Hey, man, I'll take it. First fish on a live carp. Let's go, baby. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's like almost 4 a.m. <laughs> That's healthy. I don't think I've mastered the double, uh, double catch and, and lip at the same time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Let's go, baby. Thank you, sir, for the landing job. God, you are a little spunky, huh? Yeah. Oh, baby. That's the biggest fish I have caught in Arizona so far. Nice flat. You hear him burping a little bit. <laughs> Just ate a massive carp. We're going to get a weight because I think this is pretty close, guys. This is pretty close. All right. What do we got? Not quite. 22 and a half. Yep. Here we go. First flathead in the boat of the night. 22 and a half. Ate a live carp, bro. He's out of there. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that feels good after so much waiting, guys. <laughs> Let's get another. Let's yeah. get another. We ain't done yet. We ain't done. <laughs> And guys, after this, we baited up some more carp, got those lines, ran back out, but unfortunately didn't get anything else. Big shout out to Trevor for taking me out here. This is not the last trip. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.